Welcome back, Romans. Your Optimus Princeps Warlord Superbius has returned, and it's time for us to continue our Civilization VI playthrough. And in the last video, we took the city of St. Petersburg. Russia no longer lives on this continent. Take that back. Russia no longer lives. We've exterminated them. They, Their civilization will be lost to time, as the Roman legions set their eyes on their next target, Sumeria. So, boys, I'll just get you caught up a little bit. We have the uh, uh, the city of St. Petersburg now, it's a great city. I mean, look at the, the size of the borders. The culture is kicking in it compared to Rome. Its borders are actually bigger. We're at, we're trying to build a, uh, a hanging garden, so we're getting one wonder built over there. I believe it's, yeah, that's it coming right there. Look at that beauty. All right, so St. Petersburg's got a population of six. It's going to be growing to seven. Let's just take a look at its amenities and then housing. So it's plus five for amenities, uh, six out of ten for housing. So we do not need to touch St. Petersburg for quite some time. So we're just going to leave the hanging gardens over there. We, uh, we settled our third city of Ravenna. Uh, we have it beside a wheat resource. It'll pick up this truffles once the borders grow and also I think where it was going to pick up something else. You know what? It was just to connect these two cities. Yeah, it's just going to pick up that truffles resource, but now we can connect the borders from Kume to Ravenna over to St. Petersburg. Uh, Kume is uh, growing quite nicely. We got some barbarians down here, but our two scouts should take care of him. Uh, the builders have already constructed a lot of tiles, improved them, so it's a Working city. It's uh, busy producing a trader right now. And if we go to our Roman capital of Rome, right on the coast there. Same thing as Kume. The uh, builders have already built up the tiles. We have seven population. And we are building a Colosseum right here, which will improve amenities for Rome. For Kume. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost Kume. Not Kume. But uh, Bad Tabura, it'll help out if I decide to put another city right here after raising Bad Tabura. And also going up on the coastline, okay? We've already denounced uh, Sumeria, Gilgamesh. He uh, put this damn city. Look at this. Look how close it is to Rome. So we're going to have to take that city out, raise it to the ground, because I want that second city, like, right there. All right, so that's basically where we are. We uh, we split up our army. Some guys are going to the west. Some guys are going to the east. We'll take out Lagesh and uh, Bad Tabera. We'll come up the roads, and the armies will meet up to take out Uruk. And then we also have to march up and take Preslav and Valletta and <laughs> liberate the city-states. So a lot of war still ahead of us, boys. But the good news is that... Uh, if I can keep this army alive, I don't have to build any more military. I can just continue to build up the empire and uh, continue to burn Sumerias. So here we go. We're going back to the tech tree. What do we have unlocked? What do we need to get? So build three different specialty districts. We already have mathematics boosted. Is that the Petra? The Petra. Ooh. Is that still the bonus for desert tiles? Two plus food, two plus gold, and one plus production on all desert tiles for this non or for this city non food planes, right? So it's the same as uh, a Civ Five. So like right over here, man. If I can get like uh, screw Bad Tabera, put this city over here or Lagish. If I can get like a city over here and get the Petra, think about all these tiles, man. That would be nice. Okay, so I'll go after mathematics just to get it done. It's only going to take three turns, and now we have our military. All right, you, you're gonna move up. I want to get around Lagesh. It's like a jungle tiles. I should probably get my archers to come from the back. Ah, they're on the wrong side. Yeah, I'll get them to come from the back. While the legions and stuff come up the left side. Because they don't have the range. Alright, so you're going to come back down here. Over there. Spearman and the siege tower. Siege tower, you're going to go over there. Because we're going to go one turn into this tile. Then we'll be next to it. Uh, you guys. Yeah, it's going to take a few turns just to get into uh, position. Uh, you guys. Yeah, there. There, this uh, Roman legion, you can come this way. Uh, you're going to stay put with this Roman legion, this Roman legion, and I believe I already moved, yeah, I already moved that guy out of his position. So it's going to take a few turns just to get in position, boys, but uh, we've already denounced them. I think they know war is coming. Um, our relationship with them is, is crap anyways, and they're taking over city-states that I was using uh, uh, to help our empire. I, I wanted to become Caesarian of all those damn city-states, and these guys just, just, just freaking... What, uh, invading their cities? Preslav and Valletta? Not on my continent. I can't have that. I need friends. Not lunatic warmongers. So let's take out this damn scout who's fortifying on our tundra along the coast to the southwest. There we go. Take him out. The double scout. Where is that barbarian? Oh, it's right down there. All right. Well, I'll send my scouts down. Maybe I can plug up the holes so they can't send any, uh, and, uh, any, uh, barbarian units towards Kume. Plug it up airtight. Um... All right, so you over there. Okay, so you, it's going to take a few turns to navigate these hills. You down there. 
Legion. We're going to take a turn to get in position over there. One up there. Let me just see one. One boom. Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so you are going to go that way. You're going to go that way. Okay, so they got a catapult. They don't have a walls, but a catapult and a upgraded swordsman. So that's the same as a legion, right? So two upgrades to that swordsman. That's a strong unit in there. Look at that. It's like a hook on it. That's so cool. All right, Sumerian swordsman. All right, so this is why I need to get my my uh, my archers up within range. Like, if I put them right here, because there's no forest there. Oh, but it's a luxury resource. You can't shoot over luxury resources in this game. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I'll come back here afterwards. You guys are already done moving. You're going to move up. You're going to move up past the river. Yep. Yeah. All right, claim a great person. Beautiful. What do we get? Who do we get? Oh, great scientist. Hildegard of Bingen. Oh, geez, I butchered that. Medieval era. Gain 67 faith. This holy site's district. Faith adjacent points. Preserve, blah, 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 blah. All right, well, do I? I don't have any um, holy sites, do I? Do I have a holy site in St. Petersburg? Do I want to be getting faith? I mean, St. Petersburg has a holy site, correct? I mean, let me just go to St. Petersburg. If I want to build a... Yeah, I can build a missionary synagogue. Okay, so I can build certain things in St. Petersburg. So you know what? With my... Uh, if I get this entire continent, I'll probably just adopt uh, Eastern Orthodoxy, and then I can get those other buildings. Like, let's go to religion here for a second. Let's take a look at what Eastern Orthodoxy is all about. All world wonders provide four-plus faith. If I'm going to be building wonders, that's great. Divine inspiration. Synagogues. Allow construction of synagogues. Uh, synagogues, which are five plus faith. Think about all the potential cities that I could have. All of those synagogues in there, plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five. That's a lot of faith. Now, I don't know what you can use faith for late game. Maybe there's something. Can I take over their religion because they're gonzo? Like, uh, if I keep on spread... I don't think I can enhance the religion anymore, though. That's the thing. My pantheon. So anyway, maybe you guys can let me know for the next video. It, since Eastern Orthodoxy was for Russia, but I took out Russia, can I... Assume the religion now as the as the leader in that in that in that faith. Let me know boys So I'll claim the great person sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, recruit you can also pass our to get the next one to the ways of science has attracted a great scientist to our civilization I am certain we will be able to use them to benefit future scientific development. All right. Thank you very much advisor Eureka the teachings from your great scientists have inspired a renewed interest in learning in your realm. Alright, so education has been boosted. So where is that damn scientist? You. Alright, so I think, yeah, he's got to come over here to this holy site to be activated. So get your ass down here. Thank God for the road system. Alright, so the great scientist, she's on her way. It's a girl, right? Yeah, it's a chick. Alright, so the Roman scientists. Uh, okay, so you're going to attack in from there. Spearman, we want to be able to hit that uh, war cart. So you're going to move up there. Legion... Uh, you're gonna stay put right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna stay put. You're gonna stay put. Yep, we're good. All right. So once this guy gets in position and this guy gets in the position, we can start the attack. I don't want to uh, attack until I know I can squash him. All right. So you're gonna move over there. We just want to get around. Yurik is gonna be a tough one with all of that uh, garrison strength, but that's why I'll have the uh, two siege towers to get in there, and hopefully my Roman uh, legions get some upgrades by the time they get there as well. Ooh, a builder. I can steal that. All right. Ooh, what's that that they have built right there? What is that? Is that a, uh... Hang on a second. Oh, what the hell just happened? Hang on. It's because you can kind of see, like, wonders that are... Or is that... It's the same building as that one, actually. What is that? Will it tell me? Is it a fortification? Ziggurat. See, what, what's a... Okay, hang on a second. Uh... I think it might be an encampment. Right? Let's just try this. Zig... Yeah, this. What is this? Unlocks builder ability to construct ziggurat. Unique to Sumeria. What is it? What is it? What does it replace? When Egyptians were building pyramids along the Nile, the okay, good God. Just tell me what it replaces. What is it? Uh, uh, two plus science, two one culture. Unique, unique to Sumeria. I don't know. I don't think it's an encampment. Maybe it's just for science and culture. I'm just thinking, uh, is that going to be dangerous to go up? It looks like a little gun turret right there. All right. I think I'll be okay. So you, you're going to go up there. All right. So we can move this guy. Hang on. Let me just bring this back up. We can move this guy into the floodplains. This guy into this uh, forest area. The siege tower up to here. The spearmen up to here. And then the, uh, you guys. Yeah, we'll get you along the roads. Can I, oh, you know what? Can I go? Yes. Yes, there you go. All right, so those guys are in position. We're not going to waste time getting all the way around because uh, it's a river and I can't uh, shoot bows over these uh, areas anyway. So what I'll do is I'll just put the bow and arrow guys 
like right here and here, and then here and here, and I'll move them up slowly. Okay, but it's it's going to be a rough city to take. Hopefully my legions can get in there right away. Okay, so you're going to go up here, and in fact, you are ready to go. You over here. Yeah, they only have two war carts over here. I should be okay. I just got to make sure I kill one right away with the legion and the spearmen. So you stay put. Uh, you know what? Let's heal you guys up for now, just in case another uh, barbarian comes. They're really my only defense uh, for barbarians. Two scouts. I think they can do the job. Uh, Alright, you're going to stay put. Yep. You're going to stay put. Good. Next turn. All right. So, Hanging Gardens, five turns. we got a Granary going in Ravenna. Uh, trader in two turns over here. We have one Trader out available. Uh, Bad to Burr has got to go down. And Rome with the Colosseum in seven. So, let's continue this, boys. We're at 290 AD. Turn 84. And we still yet to come into contact with, what, the three other civilizations? I can check out the demographics after this. We haven't done that just yet. Hang on. Let's see what's going Without on. Mathematics. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Well, you can still fart without mathematics, Jesus. Um, okay, yeah, demographics, right? So, here are the victories. I am in, uh, what is it, first for science, beautiful. I'm making 28.7 science per turn. Ooh, look at that, Gilgamesh is actually up to 34.5. And we have three other unmet civilizations. Uh, culture, I am in fourth place. I'm making more than Sumeria. I, I'd say that culture per turn has gone up now that I've taken out Russia. So I'd say I'm on the upswing for culture. Domination I'm leading because I have the other uh, uh, capital. And religious victory. Uh, faith per turn, 4.4. All right. Any other cities, major cities been converted? All right. So need more housing. Kumei needs more housing. Okay. So we got to build some stuff in Kumei. Eight of nine. But you know what? Um... A population of eight for uh, your non-capital city at this point, that's really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop him producing uh, food. I'm going to focus on production. So we're just going to let Kume stay around eight for now until I can get more buildings or builders to improve housing. But eight population is just fine. Okay, so we got that. Choose research. What are we going for next? Uh, apprenticeship, which would allow us to build the industrial zone. That's a district that helps out with production. Uh, the workshop, uh, stirrups, which would allow me to have the night unit, which would be really good. Military tactics, it's basically the pikemen, that's good as well. And machinery, which would allow me to get the crossbowmen. Okay, so we're basically on the brink of getting uh, military upgrades for all of our units. I mean, a knight from a horseman, a pikeman from a spearman, a crossbowman from a uh, an archer, and, uh, well, I guess legions will still last all the way up to musketmen. Okay, so let's go for apprenticeship. Um, production would be very useful, especially with all the things we want to build, um, the wonders that we want to build, and if I, can, in, if I can get industrial zones in a lot of our cities. I think also the way you can construct uh, industrial zones, I think you can help out multiple cities with the production bonuses. Let's see this. One plus production from each adjacent mine. One plus production for every two adjacent district tiles. See, I gotta look into that shit. Maybe, again, you guys can let me know. Uh, so we'll just go after, like if I put a, like if I put a workshop or a industrial district right here and I build up a workshop, does it help out cities that are within six tiles away? Like would it help out Rome's production? I think I read that somewhere. Shit. I gotta do more research into this game. Uh, all right. So do I want to attack just yet? All right. Well, what I can do is I can roll around once. There you go. To get the archers in there. I also have another, uh. Uh, spearmen coming up, so spearmen, so hang on a second, so you there, you there, you there, okay, then you guys, yeah, okay, so legion, you're gonna come up here, uh, you're gonna go over there, that way we can move up there in one tile, one over there, and one, one, yes, okay, so you're gonna go there, so what I'll do is, the archers will have two turns before they attack, alright, so we're gonna have to, ho hopefully our legions can do some damage, but they're gonna go one, one, then two, and two, and then they can bombard, okay? These guys, in the meantime, will go one, one, one. This legion will stay right here, because if the spearman starts to take damage, I'm going to switch him out for this legion, so that we can keep the siege tower protected, okay? And in the north, hopefully these two legions can deal with this Sumerian uh, spe uh, swordsman, okay? Down here, it still looks the same. We should be all right taking these guys on. Go right there, go right there, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we're good. I don't want to attack just yet, boys. I want to make sure I have uh, the setup that I want. Uh, let's send this guy this way just in case. It would suck if I can't take that city down because I don't have enough units. 
Okay, so you're going to stay there. Next turn, and we can go on the offensive, boys. Let's go. Let's see. So my great scientist off the roads now. She's got to trek through the wilderness all by herself. Poor lady. But she's a scientist. Maybe she loves it. She gets to see all these new animals and creatures and, and wildlife. Well, animals, creatures, and wildlife. I guess it would be the same thing, wouldn't they? Uh, all right, so we have a trade route now. Where do we want to build roads to? Now, Yurik already has a road going to it, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, Lagish already has a road going to it. Uh, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg does have a road going to it, but from the north. It'd be nice to have a road going to it from down here. So if I go to St. Petersburg, which route would it take? It would take this route. It would go all the way down here. It would connect Kume, it would connect Ravenna, and it would connect St. Petersburg with this road down here. While we also have a road up here. And you guys know how I love my roads. So we're going to go to St. Petersburg, okay? There you go. It's going to give Kume three plus food, one plus... Oh, you know what I want to do? No, no, no. Let me take that. Ah! Actually, if I send it from Rome... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to send it once from Kume, boys, because I want to get that road done. All right? Begin route. There you go. Roads are very important. I want to make sure I connect my empire. Um, even though we'll probably be the only civilization on this continent for a while, barbarians. I will not be able to cover all the grounds. So once a barbarian encampment pops up, I would like to be able to mobilize to get at it as soon as possible. You need roads for that. So that's uh, my decision. I'm sticking with it. Uh, all right. So are we in position? One, one, one. You're going to take a turn. That's fine. One, one. Yeah, we're good to go up here. And we're good to go down here. And this guy can take a turn to get there. Yeah. All right, boys. So we are good to go. Five turns for the Coliseum. Kume, what do we want to build next in Kume? Let me see here. Holy site. Campus. A harbor would be nice, but I can't build it anywhere. Amphitheater for the uh, uh, the culture, the theater district that I built. Where's my de theater district? Where is it? It's right there, right? Yeah, there's the theater district. You can build the amphitheater. The Oracle. Well, we want to build a crap ton of wonders. So you know what? Only 12, 13 turns for the Oracle. Uh, great people costs. Ooh, 25% less faith. Districts in this city provide two plus great people, oh, great person points of their type. So I already have a great district, so I'd have to build, ooh, that's not a bad one. And then I can also build like a, like a campus and a harbor in here to get more great people. You know what? Yeah, let's get this done. We got the Colosseum in Rome. We got the Hanging Gardens in St. Petersburg. Let's get the Oracle. Well, you know what? Hang on a second. Let me do a little math here. St. Petersburg's only going to take three more turns for that. How long would it take to build the Oracle? 14. Oh, I'll get something else going in St. Petersburg after. Oh, yeah. We can get so many wonders going now, boys, because of all the cities we have. So let's, yeah, let's mass them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Kume, we're going to go straight after the Oracle. All right? Boom. I can only build it right there. Where does the Oracle have to be built? Let me just read it. Uh, where's it? Must be built on hills. Do I have another hills? Well, that's a hill, right? Can I put it right there instead? Do I have gold? Yeah, because I, I already have that tile improved. So let's say I... 105 gold. It's next turn, Jesus. Uh, all right, so next turn I'll do it. So what can we build for one turn here? Let's get those ancient walls just started. All right. Next turn, I have to remember to come back and uh, purchase that tile to start building the Oracle. Okay. Um, okay, so let's do it. Yurik, I've had enough of this nonsense. You taking out city-states, you damn invading fiend. Why don't you just leave others to their own borders? All right, so I've already uh, denounced them, yes, and now I can declare a surprise war. What's a... Uh, oh, Cassus Belly. Cassus probably butchered that, uh, represents reasons to go to war where the normal warmonger penalty for declaration of war or capturing cities are reduced or eliminated. So because of this guy taking city-states, and because I denounced him, it's giving me the opportunity to go to war with him without incurring too much warmongering penalties because I'm trying to liberate cities. I'm not just attacking him. Look at his beard. That thing's screwing with me. Look at that. The way it's going in and out is like a mind trip right there. <laughs> Cast his belly. Here we go. Declare formal war. Warmongering penalty. Light. Beautiful. Boom. All right. Making this move will start a war with Sumeria. Declare war. Yes. Oh, baby. But look at this guy, man. Look at this. He's laughing at him. He's laughing at us. Romans. He's laughing at our faces. I will enjoy hearing your last breath when you witness the destruction of your people. Well, I guess he feels very confident. He's gone from city-state to city-state dominating. Well, I'm not a city-state. I'm the great Roman Empire. 
and I have the Roman citizens on my side. Okay, so I have to remember to get the Oracle going right there. Unit needs orders. What's this? Four de de more declared war on... Whoa, Mohandarho has declared war on Toronto? Oh, is it... Uh, hang on a second. Toronto. Caesarian... Oh, Sumeria is Toronto's uh, Caesarian city-state. So, they're on Sumeria's side. On the Toronto Maple Leafs do not like me right now. Uh, but Mojandaro is on my team. Where's Mojandaro? Okay, so they might be attacked. If not, uh, at least I kind of have a right flank that can pester them as well. All right, so that's all that taken care of. Let me just delete. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to move that stuff by accident. Shit, I hate when I'm just trying to get rid of this. I just want to get rid of this. Okay, hang on. Let me bring back up Ravenna, and now let me get rid of this. There you go. There you go. All right. Beautiful. All right, so you guys are there, you guys are there, you guys are there. So we are officially at war. Now, their swordsman has gone somewhere else, which is really good news for us. So we're going to go in there. Oh, they left the city. They left the city un un uh, unguarded. Okay, so I can go in there with my legions. So let me just move in slowly but surely. All right, siege tower. You're going to go in there. Boom. Now, remember, these guys are going to stay here just in case. In fact, I'm going to move them up there. They can switch out for either one of these units if they start to get hurt. Uh... Whew, I could start the damage already, but I would take some, and I don't know where their guy. Let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just. Uh, you, you know what? Blast them. And then what about you? Where can you go? Boom, boom. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. You know what? Yeah, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. All right, stick to the plan. We don't one quick. Uh, uh, a volley from an archer is not going to take the city. Now, do I want to take that in one turn? Because it started... The only problem with that is this guy's going to get damaged, right? And I don't want him to get damaged. I can slowly take it down with the archers. And also, I mean, I got two other guys. You know what? Go for it. Go for it. You're trying to take a city. Um, speed and surprise are... Uh, useful uh, tactics in war and you know what I get the first strike off I do some yeah I did some good damage right there yeah I'm happy about that but this guy maybe I'll pillage that to get his health back because you know that swordsman is on his way home uh, back home uh, all right so bad to burrow now so first off let's get the siege tower up there there you go we'll get this guy over here now how long is it going to take to kill this uh, war cart Ooh, war cart Really? The spearmen don't hurt the war cards? Those guys must be good. Major victory against the war cards. Okay, so these guys can do some damage. So let's take this. Let's take them out while we can. Uh, you. Alright. I don't think there's any way I can attack. Can I shoot over this tile? Let me just go here. And no, I cannot. So I'm going to have to just hit this tile right here with my uh, archers. There you go. They don't have a wall, so I'm hitting their units in there. Uh, yes, I want to bring you over here just in case. You, get your ass over here. All right, Legion, do we want to attack in one turn? Same thing. Yes, we do. It can do a lot of damage. All right, so the Roman Legions, the Archers, the Spearmen, and the other Legion all attacking Bad to Bear. It's actually a little, it's a tough uh, nut to crack here with these two. I underestimated these war carts. They can do some damage, man. They're uh, specialty units. Are they donkeys on the war carts? Oh, no one. They're not even, those horses are donkeys. How fast is that thing? All right, here we go. Uh, so that guy's almost dead. He's going to back off. These two guys are on their way. We're all spread out down here. All right, but Bad to Bear's already taken some damage. Uh, very good. Very good. This, uh, we're all good. Yeah, we're good. So next turn, boys. Let's see what Sumeria brings. This is going to be interesting. They're going to be at their strongest right now. Do they bring a, a sustainable army? Or a threatening army, I should say to our front lines, or what or what we see is what they have. You never know, they could have armies up here the somewhere, taxpayer. right? That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Ronald Reagan. All right, so we have civil service completed. So let's just quickly just take a look. You know what? Before I forget anything, this is what I wanted to do. Kume, we're going to quickly purchase this top. Wait, wait, let me just make sure that that is a hill. I'm pretty sure it's a hills. It's along the coast, but it's still hills, right? Hills, yes. Alright, so, purchase. 110. Kume, we're going to get the Oracle. Yeah, baby. Boom. Get that Oracle done in the beautiful Antarctic Tundra. That's a nice place to go visit. Alright, so you guys, we're going to move out here. We're going to try to bottleneck this area because we don't want barbarians coming up here. Uh, Alright. Alright. So now the war cart went nowhere. Beautiful. So let's take him to school, shall we? Spearman, get the hell in there. Chop those donkeys up. Oh, man, he survived. All right, Legion, your turn now. Finish him off. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, baby. You ain't going anywhere. Release the donkeys. Set them free. Uh, all right, Sumeria. Uh, you guys. All right, so it's going to take a couple more turns here. So what we're going to do is going to go boom. 
Set that guy right over there. Set the archers to go in there. 14 health. Okay, so I'm going to waste a turn here with this guy. I'm going to move him up right there and then get the legions in here so I can double, triple attack with the legions next turn, okay? I just want to make sure I can take this down. Then I'll heal up the guys and we'll use this road to march up to Uruk and we'll meet up with these guys. We'll form a line around the southern tip of their capital. Uh, new city-state quest. <laughs> Recruit a great admiral. Okay, good. Uh, choose the civic. What do we want to go for next? What's divine right give me? Mont St. Michael. Okay, so we're talking about more faith. Monarchy, another government. Two plus housing in any city with medieval walls. That would help with growth big time, boys. Uh, chivalry. Uh, gothic architecture. Architecture? Yeah. Uh, serfdom. Feudal contract. I'm just trying to look for anything that would help me out. Ooh, that one would be good. Surf them. Newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. So instead of a builder only being able to build something three times, they can go five times. With the size of an empire that we have, you get one worker or one builder per city. That's five resources for that city. Oh, shit, son. The music is kicking in big time. The flutes are playing at war. Yeah. All right, so feudalism. We're going to go for divine right, baby. Oh, I just want to listen to this for a second. Just while, while, the, uh, while the Roman Empire is marching upon the borders of Lagish. Here we go with the music, boys. You know what? Hang on a second. This sounds too fucking good. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, kick that audio up. Into the city of Lagish, baby! Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, with the music in the background. The war march of the Romans, boys. Alright, you're gonna move up there. Hey, it only counts as one movement, so it was the right- Oh, shit! Alright, war cart, coming from the, uh, the east. Uh, oh, major victory. Do some damage to him while you can, Archer. He's gonna do some real damage to you if he comes over here. Alright, you, Archer, I'm going to defer these Archers to a different mission. They have to worry about the, uh, eastern flank. Alright. Uh, oh, shit, man. I got goosebumps on my arm now with this war music. Uh, alright, we going in there. Minor victory. Get your asses in there and attack right now. Chop, chop, chop. Get into laggish, boys. <laughs> They're women. They're yours. They're gold. It's yours. Everything is yours. <laughs> Major victory. Alright, get in there. Now, do I want to attack with this guy? I think I might want to just take a turn and heal up. Uh, oh, I've already decisive victory. Did I already go with this guy to attack already? Movement. Yeah, okay. So fortify, I thought I didn't move with him just yet. All right, so you're gonna stay put. Oh, damn, the music stopped. It was going good for a second there. All right, so, uh, gain 67 faith, so that's good. And my faith is gonna go up to, what, uh, 100 or 220, something like that. Um, and the Holy Sites District faith adjacent bonus provides science as well. I have no clue what that means. So we're gonna get science as well. So maybe apprenticeship just gets done in this turn. I have no clue what that means. So here it goes, boys. Boom! Great person activated. All right. So we use one of our great people. Uh, what did that put us to? I don't know what that did. Let me bring up the yield icons. Hang on. What did that do? Did that give us more uh, faith in? Because uh, we haven't built a uh, we haven't built a library just yet. Did that is is that what it did? It the adjacent bonus plus two. Because we haven't built a library, which would add plus two to the d district as well, right? Hang on, let me just bring up the district. Uh, district. The campus. See, the campus is already making plus three. Is that because I activated the great scientist in that shrine? Right, that's not even a fucking academy. What am I talking about? That is what the great scientist did. So that's the holy site. Holy sites normally only give you faith. It's actually giving me two plus science in this holy site as well. I was getting confused because here's the academy. We have the academy over here. Okay, so now that great person added 67 si uh, faith. Oh, 220. My math is decent. And the uh, great person gave two plus science per turn, every turn, for this shrine. Not too shabby man all right so let's go um hang on a second let me just uh, sometimes the music is gets like freaking op as hell man and i love it but just for now we'll just get that back there and let me get rid of these damn yield icons all right which units still have yet to receive orders you're gonna stay put you never know when we need to switch you out for something siege towers just stay put you're just there just in case they have walls you never know they might build a wall as i'm attacking it that would really suck all right, so four turns for Coliseum. One turn for the Hanging Garden, so even more growth. Hell yeah. And Bad Tabura should be dropping in the next turn. So let's go. So we have a trade route. Look at all these road systems, boys. A lot of roads. If we had a road going to St. Petersburg, our scientists could have got there quicker. Okay, what's going on up here? What's going on? The ascent of the stories by stairs. And at their side are water engines. 
by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. My God, Strabo. If I was reading this, I would not understand what the hell he's saying. I mean, good God. By means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates. I mean, what the fuck? Oh my god, failed English miserably, boys, but look at that beauty, that looks nice, man, the hanging gardens, so you can see. There is no easy way to train an apprentice. My two tools are example and nagging. That's a good, that's well said, screw going to school, I'll learn on the job. Just when you make a mistake, have someone to tell you you made a mistake, and you'll learn from it. Um, okay, so if you look at St. Petersburg, look at this beautiful, we'll just zoom in a little bit. St. Petersburg, the, the city is growing again. See, a lot of people didn't like the art design of Civ 6, and I admit, I was one of those guys when I first saw it, but now that I'm starting to get used to it, I like the little character that your individual cities can have now. Instead of everything being in the capital, now things are spread out, you know? You get the farm countries, but you can also see, look at the huge wonder that takes up an entire tile. I mean, it's just, it's so cool looking. It's along the mountains, you know, south of the river, you know, uh, east of the, uh, the shrine. So, like, if you were walking through this area, the shrine to this side of the river, the hanging gardens, the east, the mountains in the backdrop, this would be a fantastic area to live. And I think if I even hang on like it says it should say appeal breathtaking so if you're on this tile the appeal of this tile is breathtaking right now oh it's so cool looking man and the coliseum up here look at the size of that sucker <laughs> and the oracle it's it's starting to construct down here all right so you up here yeah see boys see we got them pinned in they can't make it past the uh, mountain ranges on this side i don't know if they can go around here i've yet to uncover that but uh, what we can do is just uh, fortify, and you as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you're going to get down here, just in case this guy takes some damage from the Slinger, because he can double attack. No, Slingers can't go two. They can only go one. He should be fine there. So we'll just keep them bottled up while our military is uh, busy up here. Spearman. All right, so we got an upgrade for the Spearman. I'm going to use the upgrade right now. I don't want to lose anyone. Uh, let's go combat strength versus melee units. You never know when that might come in handy. So, boom. I wouldn't say he's got too many more war uh, chariots. I'd say he's he's building something better by now. Oh, damn. Mohejano Daryl. They're coming to help me out. Look, they're sending warriors. Good job, buddy. Yo, can I give you some money for that? Uh, Caesarian influenced. Yo, can I just say good job? Can I give him a pat on the back or something? Uh, we're happy. All right. City state workers or uh, city state warriors coming to my, my freaking rescue. Thank you very much, boys. All right. So let's take out Legesh and Bad Tabera in this video, boys. We're not giving up. All right. So you. Oh, I can give all these guys upgrades. Beautiful. So where do you have the combat strength versus melee units up here? Combat strength when defending versus the melee class. That's not bad. Yeah, you know what? Boom. All right, so now this guy, he's basically a melee unit as well as being a spearman. Uh, now, that's going to take our turn, but that's okay. All right, so a ranged attack into Bad Tabera. Send it in there, my man. It's a shitty city. They got no fortifications. It's already burning to the ground. Let's go. Let's show them you don't settle within six freaking tiles of the Roman capital, you piece of shit. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Bad Tabera, man. It is a freaking tough nut to crack. Uh, do I want to go in there? Major victory. Major victory. I just don't want to be attacked the next turn. You know what? I'm going to wait one more turn, and then we can take it. I don't feel... I just don't want to lose, because you know what? They still have that war cart in there. If they send him out to an attack, I don't know how much damage it can do. It's got an, a one upgrade. If I attack, and then he gets down to, like, you know, 30 damage, and then he kills him, that would be such a waste. We're going to get up there to Yurek. It's going to take some time, all right? But, uh... There's no point losing units if you can get through it. No, I'm going to take my time with this, boys. Oh, okay. So, I got another upgrade for this archer. This archer is going to be OP. Uh, let's not use it just yet. We'll use it next time because for right now, I can actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're going to go over here. You're going to swing out to the east. Then, we're going to pepper this damn war chariot or war cart or whatever it's freaking called with my archer blast. All right. And same thing with you guys. Archer blast. There you go. Boom. Just feather those goofy asses full of arrows. Yeah, baby. All right. So, another unit down. Uh, you're going to stay put. All right. So, laggish. Uh, Spearman. We already mu used him. Uh, we already got the two upgrades. Might as well go with him. Try to get another upgrade. And we're going to take the city in this turn, boys. Pop, pop, pop. The Romans. Oh, we didn't take it. Are you kidding me? 56 damage. It held on by a one. Well, now I'm going to attack with this Roman Legion. Because he'll be in the city and he'll have cover. If uh, anyone else marches from the north. So here we go. The Roman legions marching on laggish. The front flip stab, baby. Hell yeah. 
The city belongs to Rome. So there it is, boys. Lagish is now ours. We are cutting the Sumerians in half. Just gotta take out Uruk and then Valletta. Valletta's a... St they're both strong cities. They both have walls. Population of seven. Those city-states. We're not gonna be able to split up our armies. We're gonna have to send them... Damn it, man. We're gonna need more military units. How much? 17 gold per turn. It's not even that much. Uh... Ooh! So, something in Lagish allowed me to have a second, uh, let me see, what's in Lagish here? Ah, that's why. So, Lagish already has the district, the commercial hub, which allows you more trade routes. Where is the commercial hub? Right up there. Beautiful. So, we can build another trade route. I'll start constructing that in, ooh, not St. Petersburg, because we want wonders. Rome or Kume after. Okay, so you... Uh, we're gonna upgrade you the next turn. Alright, we got another trade route. Keep the city. Ah, uh, hang on, hang on. Oh, shit, I brought- Yeah, 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 keep the city. I want this city. This isn't a good area. We got a, uh, citrus resource. We already have a commercial hub. We basically control this desert area, and I plan on getting another city right there, which will connect Rome to this city, to Lagish, to Ravenna, and we'll have this whole area. You know what? Lagish might even be the city that I want to build the Petra in, because... Is this a desert? Is this a rainforest? Yeah, but is it on a desert? I think, I can't, can't, I don't think the, the rainforest can't be built on a desert, no. But, uh, the, the, the reach of these tiles, one, two, three, 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 no, wait, one, two, yeah, three, and three. So, I mean, you're talking about one, two, three, four, all these tiles in there getting the, the boost. Yeah, you could just build the Petra in Lagish. I mean, you could construct a better one, but there's no guarantee that you actually build it. It would just be nice to have it done. All right, so... Uh, let's go after, let's go after education for science. You know what? Yeah, let's get some more military units. Because if we're going to march on these other ones, I want to upgrade my military. So, uh, pikemen. You know what? Yeah, 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 crossbowmen. Because that would help bombard while the siege towers uh, bypass the walls and the legions go in there. Yeah, 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 that'll work. Okay, so you're going to stay put. You... We're going to go out here just as a uh, front scout unit. I want to know what's marching towards us. Uh, choose production in St. Petersburg. So we got all those. We want to build up the ancient walls, the granary. What's St. Petersburg at? Three plus. We're fine for all that stuff. So you know what? In the meantime, oh, we can get the Petra done. What kind of... No, 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 no. We could build it just to build it, but uh, no, that we don't have any, that's the only desert tile. No, let's skip that. The pyramids, what is the, grants a free builder, all builders can build one extra improvement. So if you include the pyramids with serfdom from the uh, civic tree, that's every builder will have six builds. That'll be so good. So you know what? Yeah, that'll help us construct this empire so quickly. So you know what? Pyramids, get that sucker done. We'll go up there on the, flu uh, the food planes. There you go, boom. There you go, boys. Pyramids now being constructed in St. Petersburg, and that's more faith per turn. Uh, we're up at 8.8 .8 faith per turn. That thing's going to skyrocket soon. Just watch. All right, so laggish. Do we have to improve anything in laggish? What do we want to build in laggish? We already got that. Uh, settler, I'm going to need some builders here. Trader, no. You know what, for laggish, let's just worry about housing right now and growth. So, a granary. Let's just get the basics done. Okay, next turn. So, I said I wanted to take both of these cities in this video, boys. A little bit of a longer civilization vid today, but uh, I don't think anyone will be complaining. This is the kind of game where you just want to sit down and either play or watch for a long period of time. Uh, Alright, so, let's blast Bad Tabera. Bad Tabera, do not settle there. Up, 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 up. There you go. Alright. Spearman, good. So the Spearman's gonna come here just to help for a flank bonus. Uh, you. Now which... All of them have the one upgrade already. Yeah. Alright, you go in there. Alright, so the Roman legions. Whoa, what happened here? Uh, city needs food. Laggish, right, that's laggish. And laggish, right. Now, don't worry about that. They're in turmoil right now. I will turn it around. Now that you're a part of the Roman Empire, you will have all the food you need. Alright, and watch this spinning front foot stab. Watch it right here. Ship, yeah, baby! What a beast that Roman Legion is. <laughs> All right, Bad Tabera is now ours. So let's see what's in Bad Tabera first. Uh, what do they have? Rome, they only have a monument. Nah, screw that. All right, keep city. Raise the city! All right, so Bad Tabera is gonzo, boys. Did we want to put the next city right here to spread it out a little bit? We don't need it so close to Rome. Right here would be perfect. And in fact, we can even get uh, the Petra in this city. We'll have to mathematically take a look at which city would uh, benefit from having the Petra more. Laggish or uh, 
my fourth city, but we need a settler there. So we're not going to worry about settling just yet. We want to settle there. We want to settle there. We want to settle there. We want to we want to settle all over this continent. But right now we're going after uh, Sumeria. All right. So hang on a second. You, I just want to see what's going on. These guys are going to come up. We'll deal with that barbarian encampment at, as well. Uh, you're going to fortify uh, siege tower. Yeah, we'll go over here. You can just be protected by the spearmen. All right, you're going to move up one, and then I'm going to use the promotion. All right, so my archer already has volley, arrow storm. What's suppression? Exercise, exercise zone of control. What the hell does that mean? Huh. What is exercise zone of control? Ugh, hang on a second, boys. Suppression. <laughs> I always ask. I can always just do this. Suppression. Uh, is it two-piece? Suppression. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, all right, exercise zone of control. According to NATO, suppression is the application of fire, direct or indirect. Yeah, I know. It's not necessarily to kill. It's, a, it's to get the enemy's heads down. To destroy, neutralize, or suppress the enemy's movement. Before NATO so nicely defined the term, the Royal Army defined it as fire delivered to render the target temporarily ineffective. Or in other words, firing at someone tends to slow them down. Yeah, a brilliant insight that military commanders had been aware of long before NATO, but suppression fire requires a lot of ammunition fired rapidly, so it wasn't used often often until the advent of industrial age warfare then it became common tactic yes the light machine gun but uh, what does it do promotion <laughs> I don't exercise I just read it all right boys what does that do you know what I'll save the I'll save the uh, promotion for next time what does zone of control do would it be better to go for uh for suppression or gar oh I can go for emplacement 10 plus combat strength for when defending versus city now I don't need that Combat strength when occupying a district. You know what? I should probably just go for it anyways. But I'll let you guys uh, let me know what it is. All right? Uh, you guys up there. All right. So here's our army in Lagish. You're going to heal up. There's those guys. They're going to be marching on Uruk. And here are these guys down here. They got to heal up a little bit. You guys can see how long it takes for war. It's not just a quick march. If you're going to do it, do it right. Make sure you don't lose any units. And that's what we're doing. Okay? But... I could always bring more military units out here so I can make the attack uh, to Preslav and Valletta a lot easier. I can send everyone up to Valletta and then just, you know, I don't know what I could do. There's a lot of things that we could do. So, boys, any suggestions, let me know. And your Optimus Princeps Warlord Superbius will see you in the next one. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Rocko!